This is C-SPAN's The Weekly. I'm Susan Swain. Our guest is Hans von Spakovsky. He manages the Election Law Reform Initiative for the Heritage Foundation. At earlier points in his career, he served on the Federal Election Commission and was counsel to the Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights in the Bush Department of Justice. We're going to talk about the Electoral College. This year, the Heritage Foundation began a campaign to preserve the Electoral College. So make the case for our listeners. Why should it be preserved? Well, I think the reasons that the framers of the Constitution put it in uh, are just as valid, if not more valid today. They they were afraid that if um, a president was elected just by the national popular vote, that candidates would simply go to the big cities. They would go to the big urban centers and they would ignore the rest of the country, the smaller states, the less populated areas. And with the Electoral College system, you know, the larger states still get uh, uh, have a greater say because they have a larger population. But this way, even the smallest states, uh, states like Delaware, still have a minimal number of electoral college votes and therefore will have some say in uh, electing president. Also, uh, they wanted a candidate to win a series of regional elections, you know, not just a national election, but a series of regional elections, the electoral college system. Uh, forces candidates to do that because by doing that, they hoped uh, they would have candidates who would uh, try to appeal to a much broader cross section of the American public. And as you know, we are a very diverse, very large, very uh, geographically dispersed country. And, and I think those are still very valid reasons today. Respond to the critics' arguments that candidate time and resources for the past number of cycles have unfairly targeted swing states. This year, we're seeing that with Florida, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan. Well, I think the uh, what what the critics miss is that if we switch to a national popular vote system, uh, that problem would get worse. And what I mean by that is uh, the thing about battleground states are they change. You know, there are states today that are battleground states that not too long ago were not. They were solidly uh, one way or the other for, for the other Uh, for the political parties, Um, and there are plenty of states that used to be battleground states that are no longer and are solidly uh, red or blue. Um, Battleground states change. What don't change are the big cities and the big urban centers, which just tend to get bigger. So if you want a system in which candidates will spend all their time only in particular states, switch to a national popular vote system because they will totally ignore the the smaller, less populated areas of the country and they will concentrate on the big cities. In this year of the Black Lives Matter movement, some Electoral College critics believe that its origins were in the founders' interest in preserving slavery. And for that reason, its time has long passed. How do you respond? Yeah, that is just factually and historically completely wrong. I mean, there wasn't any need to think about preserving slavery because at the time of the constitutional convention slavery was practiced in every single state Uh, moreover uh, if you look at the voting on uh, the electoral college system you'll find that actually all of the southern states with the exception of virginia actually voted against it um, whereas the northern states were in favor you would have thought it would be the other way around and and finally uh, if you actually look at the, I think, the 1790 census, uh, the two largest slave-owning states, uh, north and south of the Mason-Dixon line, were Virginia and New York. If you took out all of the slave uh, uh, populated slaves, the slaves out of the populations of both states, Virginia was still a larger state population-wise than New York. So just from a historical standpoint, there's no there, there's no facts to support that contention.